Outlaw King is a historical drama film and is directed by David McKenzie and stars Chris Pine. Yeah, this was an interesting movie. On the one hand, it was entertaining, but on the other hand, it was kind of boring. I'll get what didn't work out of the way first. The characters weren't exactly interesting and the writing didn't help things either as it was pretty much subpar. And while I was engaged with what was going on, it wasn't exactly exciting to watch. And while this film does feel like a true epic, it only is two hours long. And the reason for that runtime is when this film first debuted at a film festival, the original runtime was two hours and 20 minutes. But after the screening, it wasn't received well. So two months before this film was officially released on Netflix, David McKenzie went back into the editing room and cut about 20 minutes of the film. And from what I've read so far, this cut kind of saves the film because the original cut from what I've read from reviews was an incoherent mess. But I do feel like with the two hour cut we got, it did make the film feel a little bit meaningless because this movie just jumps from scene after scene after scene without properly fleshing out the story or the characters. It feels like it's just trying to rush to the conclusion. And what I've just said is mainly my main problems with the film. The rest of it was actually really good. And this is a film I have to admit had effort put into it. The opening tracking shot of this film had me hooked. And it was within this first shot that the scope and the true production design of this film really stood out. On a technical level, this was impressive. The cinematography makes you feel the scope of the film and makes the world in the film feel alive. Another thing I kinda liked was this film felt like an unofficial sequel to Braveheart. Overall, this film could have been great, but just as is, it's fine. Like I said, the only things that bogged this film down for me was the writing was subpar, the characters weren't interesting, but the stuff that worked, worked phenomenally. The production design was just glorious. The opening tracking shot, as well as the cinematography, Photography in general is just amazing. And yeah, I was definitely engaged into this movie for the full two hours. It's only the little things that prevent this film from being the true great film of the year. But other than that, I still had a good time with this film. And I'm going to give Outlaw King a 7.5 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, be sure to like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe to my channel below. As always, I'm Netix5. Thank you for watching.